So Republicans decided to break out some dirty tricks, to nobody's surprise. This is Vice News. They say Senate Republicans just rammed through another sweeping rule change that will allow President Trump to further speed up the remaking of the nation's courts with conservative judges. On a strictly party line vote, with just two Republicans breaking ranks, Majority Leader Mitch McConnell deployed the so-called nuclear option and blew up the Senate's filibuster rule to push through a package that will enable the GOP to approve faster judges, to approve judges faster, by requiring just two hours of debate for district court judges and sub-cabinet nominees instead of the previous 30 hours required. McConnell claimed that the change is necessary because Democrats have used delay tactics and required the GOP to use up the entire 30 hours of debate on appointees with broad bipartisan support. Quote, what we've got going on here is totally and completely unacceptable, McConnell told his colleagues in a heated speech on the Senate floor ahead of the vote. So, um, I need the Democrats to remember this for when they're in power. Because Mitch McConnell sent out a tweet storm in the midst of all this, too, talking about, Oh my God, the Democratic obstruction is at record levels. Yes. And Merrick Garland started trending on Twitter. Why? Because everybody in response to Mitch McConnell was like, hey, dipshit, what about Merrick Garland? I need you to understand that under Obama, the Republicans broke the filibuster record. And they broke the obstruction time period for a Supreme Court justice. And now he's going to get up there and say, the obstruction is a Democrat. They never agree with Trump on anything. Except we cover the story. They gave Donald Trump more NSA spying powers. I wish they didn't, but they did. They gave Donald Trump a multi-billion dollar increase to the military budget. I wish they didn't, but they did. So the Democrats repeatedly bend over backwards and give Trump what he wants and give the Republicans what they want. And then Mitch McConnell comes out and sticks a fork in their eye anyway and tells them, Oh, you're so obstructionist, even though I broke the record on obstruction. Pay no attention to that. But you're so obstructionist. And now I will go nuclear, do the nuclear option. Okay. You want to play that game, bitch? Let's play that game then. You, are you sure? You sure you want to play this, this game? See, and this is, again, another reason why it's so important that we get unapologetic populist left swashbucklers in there because even Bernie's not been great on this because he was asked about, oh, like, what do you think about um, getting rid of the filibuster to get your agenda passed? And he was like, no. FDR was famous for, like, doing whatever he could to get his way. Lyndon Johnson was famous for twisting arms to get whatever he wanted. That's what we need, man. That's what we need. Now, I get it. I get the idea of people want to be principled and and, and stick by precedent and be reasonable and care about process. I agree with all that, and I care about it deeply too. But you have to understand the empirical reality as to what happens in this country when you have Republicans that have zero morality and zero concern about process, and they're willing to do whatever the fuck they want to get their goals, and then you have Democrats who are playing pogs. I said this on the previous show. Republicans are playing rugby. Democrats are playing pogs. That's what we're seeing. And look at this. This is exactly what's happening. Yeah, we're going to nuke it. We're, we're going to, uh, you know, get rid of the filibuster. We're going to uh, fast track all these approval, these judges approvals, which deeply changes the country and makes it so that we have a permanent conservative majority on the courts, which makes it so that, you know, the court system is massively biased because you have activist judges in a right wing direction. And what are the Democrats doing the entire time? <laughs> If we get power, we'll make sure that we don't fight for our agenda and we don't change the filibuster rule. Now, to like Ro Khanna's credit, for example, he's been talking about um, we have to like do term limits for the Supreme Court. Like that's one of his ideas. I think that's a great idea because now the Republicans are being super strategic about it, and that's why they went Kavanaugh, who's super young, to put on the court, so he'll be on there for so long. So yeah, term limits. That's one way we could go. But bottom line is. You need to have an unapologetic lefty president who's going to say, okay, listen, I didn't open this door. You opened this door. You're the ones who were like, oh, yeah, we're going to do whatever we can to get our agenda. Okay, two could play at that game. You want to play that game? Fine, we'll play that game. And you can cry and you can bitch and you can moan when it's under my presidency and we get left-wing policy after left-wing policy passed and implemented into law. But all I'm going to do is turn around and say, 
you started it. You started the precedent. I'm just following the precedent you set. So let's grow some teeth because it's absolutely necessary. Because I'll tell you what, Mitch McConnell doesn't give a fuck. He's going to do the bidding of his donors, full stop. And he's going to do the bidding of far-right ideologues, full stop. So, okay, you want to play that game? Two can play that game. Try me.